can you tell us your name? My name is Dane Judd. Okay. Did you grow up around here, Dane? I was, I was born and raised here in Modesto. I've never really, never really traveled, always wanted to, but I've pretty much been here my whole hmm. life. And you went to high school here? You, yes. What high school did you go to? I went to Thomas Downey. Thomas Downey. Yeah. And you graduated from high school? Yes. Yeah. I graduated with the Knight Achievement Award. Um, mm -hmm. My high school was fairly well for me. If you want to talk about this, you can talk about how you grew up. Yeah, absolutely. I have okay. no problem with that. Okay. Um, I, we grew up always, we, ne we never had our own place. We were always uh, always moving around, living with people, my mm -hmm. mom's boyfriends, mm -hmm. things like that, etc. The, there was always um, there was always abuse in the house towards my mom, um, mm -hmm. and uh, there was just a just kind of a kind of a broken home type of environment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there was we had our own house for about three months right before I graduated high school, and um, and then I moved mm -hmm. out, and then uh, my mom was kind of doing her own thing, and and I was doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, it's always always been. Kind of a kind of a broken home type aspect that mm -hmm. um, we've we've always been very caring. She always made sure that I had somewhere to sleep. Always made sure that I had something to eat. So there was that was always taken care of. So. During your younger year, growing up years, when yes. you, when you're not, when, yeah. so you always had a stable enough environment to go to school and everything. Correct. Like that. Yes. Yeah. Um, and where where are you living right now? Um, currently, I'm I'm homeless. I'm I'm I move around a lot lately. I've been um, you know I'll stay at night at some of my friends' house, or um, sometimes I sometimes I still come down here to the creek and sleep. Um, it just it all depends. Yeah, we just saw your where you were staying right down here at the creek, and that's how I first met you. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yes. And uh, so, um, well, the other question I, I what I want you to tell us what reasons you think contribute you becoming homeless uh, how, how did it all happen so to speak well um, it just uh, just a scenario of a of, of bad situations pretty much I, um, I I was working for a plumbing company mm -hmm. and um, he moved he moved his company out of state and I couldn't follow him and um, I I, so I lost my job and uh, in turn I couldn't pay the rent and um, so we, we lost our house and uh, I couldn't find a job quick enough to to you know pay for the rent mm. or get us back up and going. So we pretty much had to uh, consolidate our things and uh, and and move on. Who you say we? Uh, could you tell us who the we? Who's the we? Um, it was uh, my girlfriend Ari and I, okay, okay. Um, who who you met before as well. Yeah, right. Which right. Um, we we currently haven't been together for a couple of weeks. Right. Um, right. It was a five year relationship. But um, she she's a very intelligent lady and everything. But we just we just had to kind of go our own ways. You lost your job. You couldn't follow your job. That was they were moving out of state. Is that what the, the issue was? You don't want to be away from this area. Right. Well, on that night, I didn't have the I didn't have the capital to to get up and move. Oh, I see. Yes. So it was about about a year and a half ago. So yeah, I'd say about a year and a half ago. So and um, this that was uh, the last this this time being homeless. I've um, I've I've been well I've been houseless a couple of times. You know, home home is where the heart is. Right. So right, right. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm homeless. But. So you were you were kind of living in different places or just going uh, just yes. before you've been homeless before. Yes. So you haven't been chronically, but you went in and out of homeless since what age was that? Um, since about 19. Since 19. So yeah. And, and what are you current? What's your age now? I'm 25 now. So there, there have been some times yeah. where I, I would be in a home. You know, I'd have a job and stuff. I would rent a room from some of my friends or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, whenever I couldn't afford it, I didn't want to. Didn't want to put the burden on them. So mm -hmm. I would. Uh, I would just. I would just leave and then go on my merry way. I got. You. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you uh, tried to get help um, from a local government or? church-based agency to help you maybe uh, get on some other path uh, or any kind of public what, what have you found out there to, 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 for you if you could um, or have you tried yes I have whenever the first time I was homeless whenever I was about 1920 um, I went through EDD's queer quest program and they um, you, you you have to take a couple of their classes you know drug tests for them a couple mm -hmm. of things like that um, help you make an interview or um, a resume and, mm -hmm. um, and interviewing with confidence things like that and um, it's, it's a great program and uh, they they hooked me up with a work experience program for three months at uh, Big O Tires on right here on Yosemite 
So I was there for three mm -hmm. months, and um, that helped me get get on my feet. And um, that was actually about the time I got got with my girlfriend, Ari, and uh, mm -hmm. we we moved into our house together, and mm -hmm. um, and we're doing well with that. So mm -hmm. they they helped me get get a set of skills that I that I didn't already have. Mm -hmm. So it, it yeah. really helped. Yeah. So, and and then, which you still have these skills. Yes. You, you've done. You know. You, you, you can work in a tire place, and tire shop, I guess. I have quite a bit of skills. Mm -hmm. I, I know a little bit about mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. I, I would say, you know, um, roofing, welding, plumbing, um, mm -hmm. construction, electrical, just uh, all, all over. But yeah, well, that's good. That's good to have because you're, you're still very young and you have. Yes. Uh, you know, I wanted to ask you, what do you think? Uh, what, what were the reasons? You know, we talked about the reasons that contributed to homelessness and one is loss of your job. And uh, do you think that was the only reason? I just want to pursue that a little bit more. Do you think that was the only thing that that caused you, or were there uh, you couldn't get a job after that? What 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 happened? I just just I just wonder what. Um, well, partially uh, that was that was the main the main mm -hmm. thing. But um, finding a job after that in in today's market, it's um, it, it's a lot harder. It's about it's about the people you know, and mm -hmm. um, that. And at the time, being homeless, my girlfriend being mm -hmm. by herself somewhere um, didn't feel comfortable. So that was hard to kind of just up and just leave her. So um, yeah. I would have to have to bring her and, and our mm -hmm. dog along to to try to find a job essentially. And uh, so that that made it even more hard. And two, um, with two people being uh, homeless, a homeless. dog too. Your dog. I've talked to some people, and uh, you know they're like uh, they they ask me, and they they find out I'm homeless, and they people automatically stereotype and and jump to the conclusion that oh you know I, I must be because I'm on drugs or I'm strung out, and that's that's not the case. I I don't do drugs. I I don't like drugs. I don't like the way that they make me feel. Um, I I have experimented, but you know. Uh, I I pretty much stick to just just smoking marijuana from time to time, mm -hmm. and um, you know people people automatically stereotype, especially in Modesto, that uh, you know oh if you're homeless it must be because you're on drugs or you have a drug problem, and that's not always the case. You know sometimes people you know they lose their job, or they you know just bad bad situations are are brought in front of them, and. So you know you have to pretty much just work work with what you got and and try to move forward. So, but you know there there are there are quite a few of them that the homeless people that that are on drugs and they they leave a mess for people and and that's uh, that that gives that gives everybody a bad name, including myself. So you know usually whenever. I'm in parks and stuff. Every time, every time I see trash, I, I try to I try to clean it up, you know, because that's uh, that gives tries to try to restore the homeless's name and not not make Modesto afraid of homeless, as it were, because a lot of people look at it and are pure disgusted or they don't they don't know how to handle it, so they they just avoid it and and put their own their own judgment on it before mm -hmm. they get to know them. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, I'm glad you do that with the parks, and uh, I have to say I've met a few other homeless people I've known who who also do that. So really, oh, yeah, cool. who also clean up that and have actually taken care of places. What do you think society uh, society could do right now to help you? Uh, if you had if you had your right, you what could help you to to uh, get on a path of getting no more being homeless in and out or, or anything? You know, being homeless. Um, I, I would have to say the, the biggest thing would be um, not to be not to be quick to judge people because you know everybody everybody uh, I, I'm the type of person that, that likes to, to help out people in any way I can um, you know if I can do it I'm, I'm more than glad to especially if someone needs it and, and will appreciate it um, but the everybody's so quick to judge and, and, and close the door on someone, not even give them an opportunity. But, um, you know, I, people, I, I've met a couple of, of work connections recently that, uh, you know, all I needed was that opportunity and they, they gave me that. Mm -hmm. And, um, and because, because they gave me that opportunity, they, they absolutely loved me and, and, and loved my work, my work ethic and, and everything. So I, I would probably have to say not um, not judging, and um, we we are very overpopulated, so that that doesn't help as well. But um, 
they're they're coming out with more and more programs to help people and um, just uh, just yeah I'd have to say not not to be quick to judge people I want to ask you like I want to personalize this more to you right now uh, you're 25 uh, what if you had your wish right now what would you want to have that would right now and I don't mean an item but maybe an item I don't know uh, that you to get to to to, to see your way uh, 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 off homelessness and not not that be in the situation right. you'll be going in and out of homelessness um, pretty much just a um, just an opportunity to show to show what I can do for someone possibly an employer um, so I could um, I could I could be on my way towards steady work and um, you know full-time work instead of here and there here and there um, to where I could I could um, essentially move myself up out of this because I, I don't want I don't want anything handed to me um, I'll, I'll work I'll work for for everything I have and um, so just uh, just give me a pretty much just giving me an opportunity to, to work and, and show myself would, would pretty much be my answer. Have you ever thought of going back to college? There's uh, financial aid, uh, things that, that are available. I, 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 you know, and I, it sounds like you would qualify. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I have. Have you ever have. thought about that? I, I have, and I, and I go back and forth on it. Mm -hmm. And um, my, my mom is in school as well, and she's, uh, she's currently she's in the same situation I am. She's homeless as well. Mm -hmm. um, but she, and seeing her being able to stick it out and, uh, and make it has given me the strength to want to do it more. Um, because I, I would like to pursue my welding career to get certified for it because um, mm -hmm. I've been told I, I have quite a bit of skill in it. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I, I, I go back and forth, <laughs> honestly. I you know I, I want to and then then I don't and then um, I want to and you know sometimes things happen. But uh, a lot of it is my uh, my self procrastination, I guess. The fear mm -hmm. of uh, the fear of not being able to succeed, I guess. So, but that's that's just uh, well, you sound like a very bright and articulate <laughs> person to me. I don't know, uh, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I. This is a little word of encouragement. I think you would do fine going back to JC, and there are programs. And I just want to tell you that. Uh, uh, so well, yeah, that's all I'm saying. I think you have uh, the ability. I mean, I think, uh, but procrastinating is a big thing, and I yeah, well, and but. That's something to, to, to keep there, and you have a good model now. Your, your mother going back. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I, yeah. and I think yeah. I, I think yeah. I am going to pursue that yeah. with that. Um, the other thing I want to, what do you think you have? Uh, to, well, maybe this really follows into the question. What do you think you have to do um, yourself to help yourself get back into society, so to speak? I mean, not that you're an outsider of society, but you are. You're uh, you're a minority in the sense that you're homeless yeah. and poor, well, and maybe not even a minority if you're poor, but you're around this area. But yeah. being homeless, you're in a, in a minority group. Uh, what 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 kind of way could you you see your way getting back into society? What I need to do to get back into society, so to speak, as it were, would be um, pretty much um, quit procrastinating and uh, just just get out there and, and do it, um, you know, because like I said, I, I go back and forth from wanting to go to school and, and not wanting to, um, but now seeing my mom go through it, I need to just just uh, not let that fear give me anxiety and just, just go through it because and seeing, and seeing it be done, um, it, it is done, and I'm sure once going through it, it'll be a lot easier. I just need to just go through the steps and, and just do it now at this point. What do you what do you feel is, is what do you feel is the reason you're procrastinating this much? Now you're in this situation. What, why are you procrastinating? Is it the fear of not doing well? I need to just just up and and, and just do it. And um, I think with um, with with being with my girlfriend before and uh, and things like that um, it, uh, in my head it, um, it it created a wall sort of sense to where I. I just, uh, yeah, that was always in the back of my head. I can go back to school, but for some reason, I just, um, I just didn't. And now, um, now I'm starting to see more that, uh, hey, I, I can do this, and it just takes, just takes a little bit of time, and, and I need, I need to just do it. And you were involved in a long-term relationship. Yes. Which, which uh, you were involved in that. She wasn't really interested in that uh, kind of thing, going back to school or. Right. Right. 
slowly uh, opportunities are, are slowly starting to open up to me that I'm seeing and you know people people actually like me and, and, and like conversating with me and mm -hmm. that, uh, that always feels good for your self-esteem because mm -hmm. um, yeah being homeless and uh, being trapped in your own head can uh, mm -hmm. can really can really affect that you can you can paranoia yourself you can you can tell yourself people you know and, and the mood that you get into whenever that energy that you you project onto other people it, it just that right there makes it to where uh, people are confrontational about coming up and talking to someone like me so just uh, I think just getting back into it and, and slowly I am I'm you know I'm taking steps to 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 get forward and um, whenever you know like um, I've done a couple of side jobs and um, I, I try to I ride my bike every day mm -hmm. and uh, try to try to do at least one thing to help society a day to get me to get me back into the, the motion of it mm -hmm. so and that that in itself feels good and, mm -hmm. and it keeps me busy so I, I stay out of trouble <laughs> mm -hmm. so that that really helps uh, I just want to I, I really I want to thank you for one for, for this interview uh, but I do want to give you a, a chance to say anything else you want to add. I really appreciate appreciate what you guys do down here. Um, you guys kind of help open up the eyes of, of Modesto and the rest of the world to to what really is is going on. And you let people tell their stories um, how how it is and not not the stereotypical way. And that um, that gives that, that gives the homeless a chance. It, it really does. And um, the people that that perceive homelessness as uh, oh it's, it's just purely based on drug addiction and things like that um, it, it's not and um, for the rest of the world out there you guys need to you guys need to stop and and just get to some, get to know someone before before you actually judge them and, and think that that's that's what it's solely based on because people are people, and um, yeah, there's there's good and bad in in, in everybody, some more than others. But uh, there are still a lot of good people out there, homeless or not. So, I think you're one of them. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you very, you very much. much. Thank you. I really appreciate it.